Good morning, everybody, traders from Singapore and Busa. Okay, so today I want to talk about two stocks. I'm going to show you how I do the screening and let us study these stocks of interest together. This is my Singapore highest ranking stock of the day. Okay, the last trading day is uh, 19th of August. So I'm just going to share with you this Trendmaster V3. For members who have this, you can do this together with me. So <clears throat> you know how to access uh, and how to use the software. Okay, so Singapore, and let's discuss this hour class. The first stock in our list over here using the Trendmaster V3 strategy. Okay, so yes, got three stars on the ranking and why is it so because of its earnings prowess 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 power la. <laughs> the hourglass earning power so during a pandemic uh, a lot of people buy luxury time pieces and yep that is the reason why they're reporting very strong earnings so this is the weekly chart of hourglass i want to bring you to the daily chart first to to discuss okay so okay this is the signal so yesterday interestingly we saw hourglass coming back on a very weak day uh with very high transaction volume this is our transaction volume and it has a small little hammer now what i like about this chart is there are a lot of hammers okay a lot of long lower tails in Japanese candlestick, you call them the hammers. Now, we have got a lot of these uh, lower tails. So, it suggests they are buying interest from 145 to 142. Okay, this whole area is the buy zone. So, uh, sorry, not buy zone for you to buy. I mean, buying is seen here because the stock repel off the 142 level. Oh, so, there are a lot of, oops, there's a live signal coming in. Yeah, we'll talk about it later. Okay, so, on the right-hand side is the... FA information. So we've got the ranking confirming the three star and we have a high volume. So this candle is today's candle 19. This software has got a real time data coming in delayed for 15 minutes. So transaction volume today is pretty low on the low side. So on the daily chart, okay, we've seen some buying interest right here and let us take a look at the weekly chart. Okay, once you go to the weekly chart, uh, you can see that there are long white candles over here. So these are all signifying buying. And right now the stock is consolidating sideways. Now, when you see a stock consolidating sideways, you want to know what is the possible catalyst for the stock to uh, go up, right? So you come down and take a look at the, when is the next earnings date. Okay, so it is reporting uh, half yearly, August, which is this July they will reported. So the next earnings should be sometime in November. Okay, November, this is an estimate. Okay, estimate of the earnings. So that is uh, what we should be looking at in November. Okay, and let us see. Now, this is the buying candle that I'm interested in. And right now, the stock is concluding sideways with low volume. So to me, this stock is still currently undergoing consolidation. So for a stock that still looks bullish on the weekly chart, let's go to the daily chart once again. And we establish our trading plan on the daily chart. Now, I, I wouldn't want to trade breakout at 150, 151 in August, okay? Because you know my take in September, October is that could be a low. So the best, the best, uh, the best is we want to see our glass uh trade lower, <laughs> trade lower. The, the safe place for me is, is trade lower to support levels, uh, support levels of 142 or worst case scenario 136 with okay without the sellers in control without sellers in control it will be easier uh, for for us to accept it at 142 and 136 we don't want serious selling serious selling then we're in trouble then you have got the lower highs so lower high you need to have a higher low this is the low you need a higher low then we know that oh this is just a normal pullback consolidation pullback and it's going to go up okay so this is where we want to uh look for the higher low again this low is higher than this low, so it's called a higher low let me clean it clean that away okay so to me our glass uh, i'll continue to wait for the the better trading levels okay the better trading levels it is now 145 smack right in between the resistance and support so it is not a very good risk reward uh, trading idea at the moment Okay, so you have got the rest of the stock, you do the same. Okay, you do the same. Now, uh, let me introduce you to this button over here. 
Okay, so this is the template to apply for the Trend Master V3, and you can see green and uh, green candles and the red line. Now, red line is the trailing stock to use. Okay, if you're using this to buy at the low over here, uh, this will be a better buy because we can see that it is pulling back on lower volume. Okay, and you have a Trend Master V3 signal coming up telling you that, okay, the trend may continue. Okay, trend may continue. So you can uh, look at this, you can exit. Okay, and then you can get back in again at the low. But you again, you must see BIC. You must see the, the, the chart favorable on the weekly chart, favorable on the daily chart before you dare to take the signal. So this draw of signal over here, you can see we have got long lower tail. So these are all the buying uh, pressure coming in. Okay, buying sentiment coming in. You can see the price reject off the day low. Okay, and then just follow the green. And as of now, if those of you who have bought here and here, it is still not the time to uh, exit the stock yet because it hasn't triggered the trailing stock. Okay, but one thing to note, we do have a lower high. So if the higher low doesn't occur, then it is uh, bad news. Okay, so this is the, our glass. And for Busa Trader, we can take a look at the Busa screening today using just this one rule. Uh, Trend Master V3. Okay, we have got CNX up and pullback as well, but I, I'm just going to keep it simple for this video. Uh, okay, the top stock, Emulus. Now, I want to talk to you about Emulus. Okay, is it time to trade this Emulus or not? So, this is the Emulus chart. I'm going to remove the support resistance line so that I can see the chart clearer. Okay, Emulus reported. Okay, look at this icon over here financial results. So Emulus reported financial results and the stock reacted positively, boom, go up. And right now it's doing a pullback. It's perfectly normal for a company that report earnings, post earnings, okay, that is a buy up to uh, have a selling, okay, to sell off. So from this chart, it is now pulling back, okay, building up, consolidating for the next wave up. Now, why not wait next wave down, but next wave up? Firstly, the industry, semiconductor uh, is bullish. And you look at the earnings rank, it is four star. Okay, so you check the quarterly earnings reporting. Can you see it's ever growing? This company is a growth stock. So you can see the stock generally uh, enjoying an uptrend. So if you have the patience to wait for this uh, emulus, Okay, so this is where you can look at it. You go to the weekly chart. Okay, now weekly chart, can we take away the template so that I can draw this beautiful trend line for you because I was looking at it. Now, this is the beautiful trend line that you can draw easily. Anybody can draw this trend line. Okay, oh, sorry, I'm, going to, I'm not going to use the blue color. I'm going to use my orange one because my orange one will be able to trigger a real-time alert Okay, when the stock trades at the trend line. Okay, over here, trend line alert. Ooh, I need to get rid of this. Okay, nice. Trend line alert. Am I at trend line alerts? Okay, trend line alert. So I'm going to draw this orange trend line. Okay, I'm going to eat up into the lows over here for a reason. Did I explain to you? So I don't think it can come down by 4th of September. So the signal expiry, I'm going to put on 2nd of October. Okay, monitor this for the next one month waiting to pounce. The next time it announced earnings should be November. Also, October there about should be just uh, nice to cook and eat. <laughs> so this is the trend line alert. So you have to be patient to wait for it to come down to the alert line and then it will trigger an alert to you over here, live alerts, okay? So just wait for it. Okay, just wait for it. So um, right now we can see, okay, now just I was explaining to you why I want to eat up a bit. Because since the software is going to trigger the alert to us, uh, what if uh, we are not on our computer, right? You need some time to come back to the computer. So we, we can sue a bit, we push it up so that, you know, when it reaches this uptrend line prematurely, we stand by ready to pounce on it. Also, that is this emulus for you. Okay, so uh, let me know what you think about these two stocks, Hourglass and Emulus, under the comments below. And I will see you at the next video. May the force with all of you. Bye.